Hey everybody, it's me Kayla Friday and welcome back to my channel here at Little Cahaba Junkin. Today we are going to be a little bit different. As you can see, I am all natural. I just came in from work. Actually, that's a fib. I left work and then went junkin and I have a humongous junkin haul to share with y'all. But today I'm just being all natural. Didn't do my hair, didn't do my makeup. I'm wearing my sweaty hospital clothes. And um, I'm coming to you from the beauty that is my skanky, nasty garage. Y'all, look at all this. I am currently, is slam packed full because I have been buying stuff up to prepare for my very first vintage show. As you know, it is gonna be the first weekend in October. If you're local, please make, ten, please make plans to attend. I would love to have you there. Um, Little Cahaba Junkin is going to be at the Thorsby Swedish Festival. It's in Thorsby, Alabama in Chilton County. Um, it is, like I said, the first weekend of October. It's the first weekend every year of October and it's so fun. Lots of vendors are gonna be there. I don't know how many antique people will be there. Probably not that many, but I am gonna be there and I'm gonna bring enough for everybody. So if you're local, please come and see me. I'd love to meet you all. But the reason I'm saying that is a lot of this awesome stuff that I'm gonna be sharing with you today from my haul is going to be packed up and put away for the show. I am keeping a few pieces for myself because you know, I have to have my own junk and supply. I gotta feed the addiction. But instead of bringing all of this inside into my living area and doing a video there, I decided I'm just gonna do it out here in the garage because I'm currently packing things away and organizing my garage to get it back in order. I've been to so many places, estate sales, uh, thrift stores and things like that, picking up goods for my show. So today I'm gonna bring you the haul from the garage. But y'all know I just keep it real here on this channel. You know, Instagram is a lie. None of those people's houses look like that 24 seven. We all get filthy and sweaty and nasty. We all have acne and breakouts. We all look rough and our homes are always a little bit dirty. I mean, come on now. Do you think that I actually photograph the nasty parts of my home? No, ma'am. <laughs> so without further ado, let me go get all this awesome junk out of my car and we'll go through the haul. Okay guys, so I am going to start with the few things that I'm definitely gonna keep for myself. I went to um, America's Thrift Store, and I also went to um, a little place in Jemison, Alabama. Um, when you're coming south on 65, there's an exit right there. It's Thorsby Jemison. I believe it's the 219 exit. Um, but anyway, or maybe 209. Anyway, it's the Thorsby Jemison exit. You get off that, turn to the right, go all the way down until you hit 31, and right there on the corner, there is a shop called the shops on Main, and it's there in Jemison, Alabama, and it is a little booth shop. And I had a ton of luck there today. The first thing I bought is this really cute vintage whisk broom. I'm keeping it for myself. I can't wait to hang this in my kitchen on my peg rack. I think it'll be adorable, especially for fall and Halloween. So that's the first thing I purchased. And then, y'all know I love good vintage brooms. And these are usually anywhere from 10 to like 12, $14 at vintage shows. And I got these beauties for $5 a piece. And they are truly vintage and they're just adorable. So I love these. And I just think they're gonna be so cute for fall. Really anytime, but I'm so excited to use them for fall. So I'm keeping that for myself. Y'all also know I love a good little bust. <laughs> And I found this adorable little boy and girl set for $10. I just loved them. And I had to bring these home with me. And I think they'll be so sweet for Valentine's Day. Um, probably in my hutch. I have lots of really cute pink de depression glass that I've purchased recently. And I think I'm going to style that in my hutch along with these for Valentine's Day next year. And the last couple of things, excuse me, that I'm going to keep for myself... My Aunt Penny actually just sent me a post, I believe it was off um, Instagram. Someone had taken one of these really adorable old vintage pitchfork ends, and I found one today, it was meant to be, but they sit it upside down like this on their table and use it as a plate rack. Isn't that so cool? I'm definitely doing that for fall on my tablescape. I think that'll be so sweet. If for some reason it doesn't work out, I can always put it in my yard or I can use it as a weapon. 
<laughs> I'm just kidding. Y'all know I'm not too violent. Okay, and the last thing, and that was $9. But the last thing that I purchased for myself is this big, beautiful drawer. It's very thin. It's got the old hardware on the front. Um, this was half off, so it was $12.99, so half of $12.99, so a little over $6, and I just think it's beautiful. I think this will be absolutely gorgeous on my table um, to use as a tablescape um, or just really anywhere. It'd be really cute sat up somewhere, be cute propped up on top of my mantel, but my real idea is to use it as a tablescape. You can turn it upside down or leave it open to have these nice compartments. But I saw this and for like six, seven dollars, I couldn't pass it up. So unfortunately, those are all staying with me, unless I change my mind. So next, I'm gonna get to the things that will be available at my booth in October. First, I have this really pretty piece of ironstone. It's just a pretty little ironstone bowl. I have one very similar that I put my vintage flower frogs in. This would also be gorgeous used in your bathroom stage with like some homemade soaps and a dishcloth. Um, you could actually even put like your soap and um, your lotion in here in your bathroom. You could use it sitting in your kitchen and put like your little scrubbers and your dish soap in. Endless ideas, but I thought this was just so sweet. I also purchased this really pretty um, emulsion bottle. This will be at my booth. Next up, I have this really pretty, it's made in the USA, little pottery. Um, it is a cream and sugar set. And I thought this would be just beautiful for spring or even fall with that really pretty yellow and brown. Y'all ignore my ratchet fingernails. Y'all, I am so nasty. I'm humiliated. Don't be looking at me. Y'all don't be judging me right now. <laughs> I've been working in my yard today too. Real life coming at y'all guys. But I thought this was just so cute. Beautiful for spring or fall. Now I have several, my little neighbor is walking his dog and I know he thinks I'm crazy in here. But next I have several vintage plates. These are Blue Ridge. And they do have some chips here and there, but I'm gonna give a really good deal on these. This one actually has a scratch here, but they're still really pretty. I thought they were all really pretty and would be gorgeous as a set, hanging up in your kitchen as a place setting or even in a um, wire plate holder like I have in my hutch. I love this one because it's more like a platter. And the last dish I got is this beautiful floral dish. And it actually came with the holder here. And I'll just leave that on there so you can hang it up from your wall. But I love the details of this one. So I purchased all of those. Okay, let's see. I don't know if I'm keeping this or not because I really love it. It's this beautiful ironstone piece. It's humongous. It was 75% off of 20, so I got this for $5. It's huge. This would be beautiful in the um, fall with pumpkins displayed and some cute feathers. It would be beautiful to like store your collection of things. Like I have my flower frogs. It would be adorable to put some vintage books. Um, whatever you collect, I like to just display things together. And this may seem kind of crazy, but it would even be adorable with your vintage brooms displayed like this for fall. But I don't know if I'm gonna keep this or not. Y'all let me know, should I keep this or should I sell it? And if I sell it, you better come buy it. 
I also got this really cute vintage sifter. It's really pretty and rusty. It would be adorable in the kitchen or outside. You can actually use it as a planter. I have one that I use as a planter. I love this piece. Next is this beautiful drawer, and I love this lion here. He is just beautiful. Just an old drawer, number 473, <laughs> but I just love this. This would be gorgeous sitting um, on a side table, like on a console table with your remotes in it and a candle. Um, you could put a really pretty potted plant in here. Um, whatever you want. Just a little neat way to display things. This will also be at the booth. I also purchased this really pretty print. It is a vintage butterfly print. And I love the old frame. And I love how old and stained it is. One of the bigger pieces that I got I'm really excited about is this beautiful old blue vintage toolbox and it has little slots in it and this would be absolutely gorgeous on a porch with small terracotta pots to use as a planter. It would be so beautiful with like potato vine coming out of it or something that runs, ivy. It would just be beautiful or it would be so cute to store vintage garden tools like um, little shovels and little um, hose and things like that. I thought he was just precious. I got him for $10. Got one more thing from the store that I went to in Jemison to show you. Then I got to go grab the rest of the stuff out of my car that I got at the thrift store. The last thing I purchased is this adorable little footstool. He is so cute. He's real wood, very heavy, and they have reupholstered the top with a really pretty burlap so it can go with any home. Um, and it's just really pretty. Looks like it might have originally been velvet, but I just love how it turned out and it is so cute. And I got this for, I believe, $12. So let me go get the stuff from the thrift store and I'll be right back. And I'm back. So I did not get a whole lot at the thrift store, but I did get a few really cute pieces that I wanted to mention. I got this really cute little terracotta pot set for a dollar. Y'all know I love a good terracotta pot and have a huge collection now thanks to some of my junkin' buddies. My friend Kayla Robinson just went on the longest yard sale and brought me back a big bag full of them. My Aunt Penny has got me several. My Aunt Kim's got me several. My mom gave me some of hers and I have found some out and about. So I am just so excited to find all those. But I did find these really pretty mason jars. It is the kind that have the metal clamps on top. And if you go junking a lot like I do, you know these are very expensive. They're usually like $12 a piece. And I got these for $2.99. So I will be keeping these. And the last thing I purchased is this adorable little plate. It's nothing real special, but I love a good little plate like this to use in my hutch as a riser. But that is pretty much it with my haul. Um, I'm sorry that I didn't put um, a ton of effort into my appearance today, but you guys know I gotta keep it real. Um, I am a real person, I work full time, and I know all of you do too. We have a lot going on. Our life is not perfect. It's not storybook like everything in social media appears to be. Um, and I know that there's so much going on in the world right now. I pray for you, just pray for me. Continue to remember everyone in our country um, as we battle this awful virus, just pray for our medical leaders, people that are um, out there fighting this virus every day. Pray for every essential worker and just pray for everyone at home as well. Just pray for the entire country and the world as a whole because we are all battling some sort of struggle and going through something whether anybody realizes it or not. Also join me in praying for Afghanistan and the Middle East. There's so much unrest and violence over there right now and it's absolutely heartbreaking. Just pray that the good Lord will intervene and touch those people and bring peace to that country and pray for our military, all the men and women who fight for our safety 
in the military and just that the Lord will bless them and be with them and their family. I know there's a lot of uncertainty right now, but we will all stick together and we'll get through this together because we are all children of God and he has his hands in all of this. And um, I know that everything that happens um, isn't always wonderful. Life is not a bed of roses and there's a lot of heartache that goes along with being a Christian and walking through life as a Christian. But just remember that we have the victory. The good Lord gave us victory years ago and that we're gonna get through this no matter what. Um, even though life seems dreary right now, the pain may seem like it's unbearable. Just reach out to your brothers and sisters in Christ, ask for prayer, ask for uplifting. Um, you know, there's a lot of people out there that are still so good that would give you the shirt off their back and that would go the extra mile to make sure that you're taken care of. Um, and life is never hopeless, never feel hopeless because there's always a glimmer of hope as long as you have your trust and you believe in Jesus. So I hope you have a blessed week. Thank you for being a member of the Little Cahaba Junkin family. And I'll see you again later this week for a really cool tablescape video. We're gonna be redoing the kitchen table and getting it ready for the end of um, summer, beginning of fall. So I'll see you on that. And until then, be blessed. Oh, and P.S. Buster Brown was not in this video because he would probably break his little neck out here on all this junk. But he's alive and well, and I promise he'll be featured in the next video. He loves you guys. He thanks you for all the support. And his head is so big now from all the love and support he can barely fit through the door. <laughs> Bye.